So ladies, this is something I also wanted to share with you, which I am now recording as a video. And I hope you will find this very, very useful. Now, one of the things about balancing is where I do not ask for what I want. I am working, I am working with things that other people want from me. Now, why is it that I'm not working with something that I want? Why am I not expressing that? There are a couple of reasons for that. First of all, maybe I don't know what I want. Maybe I have never sat back and thought if this is going to be something that I want, this is my goal, this is what I am working for. So first of all, sit back and focus on what you want. You can make a list. And it can be as selfish or as selfless or anything that you want to call it as you want. Okay. So first, when you have your thoughts clear out on the paper, this is what I want. That takes you forward to the step number two. Now, another reason I don't ask for what I want is something we discussed. I think they will react in a certain way. I think they will not like it. What will they say when I ask for this, right? Which is again, mind reading. I am thinking on their behalf. Can I find other possibilities? Are the probabilities of other things or other reactions from those people more or more important or more relevant? All right. Another thing is, when um, somebody gives me work or give, ask me to do something, I cannot say no. Why do I not say no? Why can I not push back? One of the reasons is because I have a label. I am kind. I am helpful. I am such and such person. I cannot say no. What if I change that label? What if I say, I am a kind person, but I will say no when the situation is not working in my favor. I am a helpful person. I am a resourceful person. I'm a good employee and I can push back work when it is not resourceful for me. I change the labels, right? And when I think, what will the other person think? Have you gone through a situation where somebody else has said no to you. What did you feel? How did you handle it? Is it quite possible that the other person will also react in a similar way? That they will be understanding, kind, or they will just, you know, find it irrelevant when you say no back to them? And the last part where I am unable to say no to other people or I am unable to express myself about what I want is where I deal with a feeling, a sensation. There is a sensation that comes up and it is discomfort. It is uncomfortable for me. And this we have discussed on length, dear ladies. We have talked about the sensation. We can grow out of the discomfort. I am getting a pit in my stomach, but I'm totally okay with that. Maybe the pit in the stomach is the thing that is making me ready to go and ask for that raise, ask for the job or the project that I want. Do you get that? Go ahead and get what you want. Go ahead and be clear about what you want and you will definitely get it. Thank you.